All right, folks, it's time. We are proud to announce NX 16.0 has just launched. Yay. But before we get into some of the details of the latest launch, let's recap some of the recent features from some of our NX 15 minor releases. In NX 15.3, we introduced new starter presets for React and Angular SPA starter applications. These allowed you to use NX outside of a monorepo context that was focused just specifically on one app, either your React SPA or your Angular SPA. In NX 15.4, we introduced official support for V and VTest to integrated NX mono repos using our new first party Vite plugin. We also introduced an official Deno plugin. This included support for Node and Deno project co location inside of a workspace, as well as dependency graph support for Deno imports. In NX 15.8, we added Rust to the NX code base in order to speed up our hashing algorithm. And we added support for non NPM NX workspaces to support workspaces focused on other languages like C Sharp or Java or Kotlin. And we saw those in action via community plugins, including one one from our own Craigery, who created an NX.NET plugin, and our friend Teen, who's created a multitude of Java and Kotlin plugins. And throughout this entire cycle, we've seen a whole evolution of our NX console IDE plugin. Recently, we've seen the NX console plugin go poly IDE, where it now supports both VS Code and JetBrains IDEs like IntelliJ and WebStore. So that's a cool recap of some of the stuff we've done in this past iteration. Be sure to check the description for links to these if you want to find out more information on any of these. And we'll also include links to our previous blog posts on our previous releases as well. But let's get into the good stuff. So with any new major NX release, we always want to preface it with if you want a seamless transition to the latest NX stuff, just use the NX migrate command. We've already put out a video on how we use this NX migrate command to migrate the TanStack query repo, a repo that was already using NX, to really easily jump it to NX 16 and take care of any admin related stuff that might need to happen for your repo in order for things to work properly with the new major release. And this NX migrate command is actually super important for our NX 16 release because with the release of NX 16, we've actually taken the time to rename some of our packages and rescope all of our packages to move away from the at narwhal npm namespace to the at nx npm namespace. Be sure to check out our doc site for full details. I've got them on screen here. Now, like we mentioned, if you're using the NX migrate command, you won't need to know about this too much as the migrate command is going to handle all of that migration for you. And you can carry on being productive as a developer without having to worry about how these migrations are going to work or how you need to rescope your packages. So that's pretty cool. But let's move on to some actual features next. NX 16.0 includes a ton of new node features. This includes standalone presets for Express apps and Koa apps, as well as support for serverless deployments. We've also published with NX 16.0 two new plugins, an NX Netlify and an NX AWS Lambda plugin. Now these plugins should make it easier for you to deploy to Netlify or AWS, and also to share code between these serverless applications or serverless APIs alongside other projects inside of your NX Mono repo. We also have some new Cypress features, which includes creating feature-based end-to-end tests. Now this will make it so that you can actually remove some of the end-to-end -end projects inside of your NX workspace. So rather than having a whole new project in order to contain your end-to-end -end tests, you can actually co-locate your end-to-end -end tests right inside of the feature that those end-to-end -end tests are testing. This has a couple of benefits. One is the developer experience benefit where we've cut down the amount of directories you need to have inside of your workspace. And there's also a performance aspect to this as well as doing this is going to segment your end-to-end -end tasks, which tend to be some of the more costly tasks inside of a CI pipeline. So by splitting this up into different features, we're able to break that up a little bit more, which means we can parallelize it better with distributed task execution, for example. And we also have a better chance of being able to skip some end-to-end -end tests entirely if we can detect that a change shouldn't affect certain features. So some really cool stuff there. X16.0 also includes some very helpful improvements to the NX graph functionality. Now the NX graph is a way of detecting how projects inside of your workspace change. But as we've been working towards NX16.0, in addition to being able to visualize a project graph, we can also visualize the task graph via this feature. As of NX16.0, you can use the NX console IDE plugin to have easy access to buttons that will allow you to isolate a specific task to see its complete task graph. And new to NX16.0 via the CLI, 
Uh, you can also add the dash dash graph option to any command that you run. And this will make it so that instead of running the command, we'll actually open up a browser where you can visualize the specific command that you were about to run, but visualize it inside of the index graph. And this will show you all of the tasks that your specific task depends on that will have to run before you can actually run that command. So some very helpful tooling there. As an internal feature for the NX code base, we've also switched from using Yarn as our package manager to using PMPM as our package manager. Now, very importantly, we're not actually using PMPM for its workspaces functionality, just as a package manager. We're still using NX as a way of tying all of our packages inside of our workspace together. Now, as a side note to this, we've actually found that NX works extremely well with PMPM workspaces. So if you have a workspace that you have that's using PMPM for its package manager and for its workspace capabilities, you can actually add NX pretty easily as a way of introducing task caching to your workspace without having to introduce sweeping changes to transition your workspace from a PMPM workspace to a NX integrated style monorepo. Yuri has a great article out on this that you can check out in the description below. And we also use the specific strategy to introduce task caching via NX to the TanStack query repo. Now this introduction only involved touching about four files and most of this was automated with the NX init command. We put out a video on this introducing task caching to the TanStack query repo actually improved the performance of their test script by 92%, which is pretty crazy. We put out a video on it. Be sure to check it out if you're interested in seeing more about what happened there. And be sure to check out Yuri's article if you'd like to introduce NX into your own PMPM workspace project. So those are the big points of NX 16.0. As you can tell, we've referenced a lot of other videos that we've put together inside of this one. So we'll make sure to include all of those in the description below. If NX has helped you out, we'd really appreciate if you give us a like and subscribe to this video. We really love the opportunity to be able to bring you all this cool stuff. And it's always awesome to hear from y'all in the comments and on Twitter about how you're having a great time with it. We're going to keep working hard here looking ahead to NX 17 and we're focused on making NX an awesome tool for helping with your productivity. Taking away all these admin tasks you don't want to deal with so you can focus on shipping great stuff. So hope y'all keep working hard as well. We'll see you at NX 17. Catch y'all later.